Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Wolanda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my totes collection. Each tote is designed to do a specific task in my lifestyle, in my life, in my wardrobe. I tend to not like to repeat a lot of the styles over and over again or purchasing the same styles or the same color scheme over and over again because it just does not make any sense for me to have five, three of the same type of totes. Two of these totes are my Marc Jacobs totes. So they're what entry level type of totes. They're not like full blown designer, but I still include them in here because they do what they need to do. And they're, they're not on the pricier side, but you know, they still cost something. So these are just all the totes that I have in my life let me know down below which totes are your favorites or which ones that will be useful in your wardrobe but let me go ahead and start with the mark jacob totes i absolutely absolutely love 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 these totes i am a mark jacob fan now like seriously if you are affordable and you're practical in my life I love you. And these Mar Jacob, the tote bag has been so practical in my life. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the first one that I've purchased. But I know I bought this off of Farfetch and it is this color. I did an in-depth video on the tote, these two, this one and the next one I'm gonna show you. So I'll leave that down below if you want more details. I'm not gonna go into details, details about these toes because there's already a video on it i'm just going to tell you guys how it's useful and yeah all of that good stuff so this was my first ever the tote bag and i seen this um during covid what yeah during covid that's when i picked this one up and i just love the color scheme of it it's white and it has the black leather trimming on it so i love the fact like how this tote is it's felt like I am such a texture, a feeling type of person. So I love that it's not just full on leather. It has some texture on it. I think this is called Jacquard material. I feel like I'll leave the link down below. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> Y'all know me and leaving links down below. Yeah. So I initially got this during COVID for me to travel. It would have been, you know, something like, like a personal bag for me to carry on flights. I did end up going, I think to Mexico with this tote and it was very durable. It still is durable. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. It's such a beautiful tote. I know this was a limited edition when I first purchased it off of Firefish. I'm not sure if they still have it available on the website or on the Mark Jacob website, but I absolutely love this tote. This is in the size small. The thing is, I ended up getting the next tote that I'm going to show you guys. So I decided to make this my domestic travel tote. So before it was like for international flights, you know, any long haul flights, I could easily fit my laptop in here. I normally don't carry too much on my in on the flight so this was great to carry what i needed to carry but i ended up getting another tote and i didn't have a use for this one anymore so when i moved to dubai i did leave my gym bag back in the states my adidas gym bag and that was just like a very big gym bag honestly i was carrying way too many things in that gym bag and one day in my gym i seen a girl she was carrying like I don't remember what designer brand it was but I never thought to use this as a gym bag until I seen that bag in the gym I was like oh yeah I do have a bag that I'm not using because I really didn't have a use for this anymore because I acquired other totes for other reasons or for the same reasons I purchased this one and yeah so since then I decided just to make this my gym bag and this is perfect I normally keep it stuffed um, right now, I just have a towel in there, but I absolutely love this bag. Currently, it has my, okay, we know you're not connected, my, what's it, watch, my fitness watch. It has jump ropes in there. It has my weight gloves. 
Um, what else? It'll carry my headphones when my headphones are not charging, my wireless headphones. So I absolutely love this for my gym bag. Another reason I decided not to start carrying this on travel flights or traveling anymore is because because of the color, it does get dirty very, very quickly and you get, you notice the dirt. Right now on the camera, you probably can't see it. You probably could see a little bit, but the handles are brown. <laughs> They're dirty, so I need to clean this bag. And then I have some like, I don't know, water stains right here. All of these are definitely cleanable. I just need to clean it. But being that when I travel, I don't want to look dirty. <laughs> I want to look as clean as possible and be as clean as possible. So that's why I decided not to carry this as a travel bag anymore because it just over time is going to look very nasty if I do not wash it often. So yeah, I decided to keep this at the house or in a gym now it is the perfect size like i said this is the size small Ugh, absolutely love this bag so easy to carry very lightweight Ugh, absolutely love it so i had to get one to replace what i initially bought that one for for and i did like i said i have a video with both of these comparing them so make sure you check that out y'all i love this bag when i first seen it i think this was probably like six months later i don't even think it was a year later maybe it was a year later maybe i bought this in 2021 i think so i bought this one straight from the site as i was one of the first ones i wouldn't say i was <laughs> the first one but i was really one of the first ones who like got this bag and i think i'm still the only one on youtube that has this bag so like i said make sure you guys look at that review people are still asking me questions about it so if you are if you have any specific questions about the bag i try to answer them in the comments so make sure you read the comments as well and i try to update you guys like when i do travel with it how it looks um fitting under the, the seats and stuff like that so i do keep you guys updated because i am aware i am the only one so far right now on youtube with this color bag in the size large everybody else has the mini or the small since i already have a small the small wasn't gonna work so this is the large and oh my god i am so in love with this bag one that caught my attention was the color y'all the color is gorgeous this caramel uh brown color and the leather is so 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 soft oh my goodness this is starting to get heavy and pliable i love how um the handles right here it just could fold up so when you go on a plane you could put it right under your seat it's big enough to fit everything in the kitchen sink like no lie this bag fits everything right now it is stuff i keep all my toast stuff because i don't like them slouchy and even though this is very structured when it is stuff, when it's not stuff, it is slouchy. So I love the fact that it's very, very malleable. It is such a big bag. One reason I did get this bag and I was thinking about getting this one versus or the Dior tote bag. First of all, the price difference is not comparable. The Dior tote for I think 3K now or over 3K versus this. I got it when it first came out for five forty five six under six hundred i know that for sure like you cannot beat it like this i want to say is the best travel tote ever i love it because it's so soft it is malleable you could just stick it under the plane seats like i said also it has that zip at the top which the dior tote does not which i love the color is stunning i do get compliments while i am wearing this in the airport people look at it and says it is gorgeous no lie you can fit it over top if you want to normally this doesn't go over top because it has my laptop it has my blanket it has sometimes it holds my makeup bag um my personal items i could fit a whole nother person here if i really want to if i know i'm going to like have to leave this in a hotel and just run real quick out as soon as i get to the spot or airbnb whatever it is i could fit a whole nother bag in there and i do put like um little pouches in there to hold my personal item if i don't put another bag in there and i still always have mad space so i absolutely love this bag it is stunning stunning um 
honestly one of the best purchases I've ever done in my life to be honest because I've gone through some places with this thing and I do not see any scratches I do not see any tears the fabric on here let me see the bottom the bottom is wearing down a little bit I don't know if you'll be able to see that but right here definitely it is wearing down a little bit but then again like it doesn't have any feet it's a slouchy it's back so I'm not well it has like I don't know these things but not they're not feet feet but you really don't expect feet for this big of a bag like it, it wouldn't make any sense if something is to happen to this bag is to tear rip whatever um just fall apart I will be purchasing another one that's how much I absolutely love this bag all right so the next bag I have you guys seen this in a haul I did earlier oh I am missing one I gotta go get one more it is six instead of five um but this bag i did purchase earlier this year it is a Givenchy tote it's called the wing tote and i absolutely love this bag one like i mentioned in the video it's super super understated you see the little Givenchy logo right here and then you see the little um writing right there and then on the inside it does have the logo printed uh i think that's the best i could show show y'all right there it does have the gg print on the inside and i did pick this up off of satire i want to say and i bought it because i needed a bag to put all my camera equipment in and that would look nice when i am out and about taking content and after that if i want to go to dinner right after instead of just coming straight home and because i do not have a vehicle here in um, Dubai I do take taxis for wherever I need to go it's just easier to have a tote with me so I needed something that was big enough and structured as well this is well structured on its own I do have something no I barely have anything here in here like this is not holding up anything at all all of that has to be put in here but also look cute work but also make it look it's just easy to carry it's comfortable to carry as well the shoulder strap does not dig into my skin. I love everything about this bag. I'm so glad I purchased it and I'm so glad um, it's in my collection. One additional thing is it does have a little pouch. I really don't use this pouch because the pouch is very, very thin, but it does have a pouch attached to it um, that is detachable. So that's a plus. Yes, that was a recent addition as of 2022. Let me go get that other bag I was telling you about before I go into the last two bags. All right. So the bag I forgot, I forgot it because it's not where my totes are. It's with my actual purses because it's technically a purse, but I do use it as a travel bag. It is the YSL Lulu bag. Uh, this is a large version. It does have feet. It has the two straps. It's gold hardware. Okay, so the initial idea or the initial thought of this bag was for me to carry it while on trips. I wanted this to be my Chanel XXL airline travel bag alternative. I have taken this outside of Dubai. Have that? Oh, no. Yeah, I've taken it outside of Dubai, but not out of UAE. I did travel with it to Abu Dhabi, and I loved it for that. Now to think of it, I don't think I want to take this out of UAE anymore as an airline travel bag. <sighs> Simply because, and I feel like this could be a, an entire video for on its own. Then put this down because it's, it's heavy. So I don't want to travel abroad with this bag anymore as my travel bag. Um, I would normally would, you know, use it as a personal bag. How I would use my Marc Jacob, the tote bag in the large one. I was thinking about using this one for more luxe trips, but being with what's going on right now in the world with all these robberies and people seeing you as targets not even just you know because you're wearing a designer just like everybody's just targeted when it comes to robberies i don't want to be that extra target you know going down the 
airports or you know landing and going about in another country city and being at target because i have this big ysl logo right there it's just a lot it's just a lot so i think i'm just gonna keep this in the uae and use this as a staycation type bag because i do love it for here and being that it's you know being in the uae it is way more safer robberies are not as common or stick ups are that's what they call are not as common here so it's okay for you to actually wear everything that you purchase out and about without having any worries even though it is a big spacious bag like i said i keep my bag stuffed so it just has dust bags in here it can only hold so much if i'm doing a staycation in the uae then i won't have to carry as much as i would carry in my large the tote bag so the last two bags are beach bags i'm going to show you guys the one i recently really i recently recently got because i didn't purchase this myself it was actually well i kind of did but I, okay so if you guys have not seen my birthday vlog i just uploaded on saturday go ahead and check that out i did end up bringing in my birthday at the bulgari hotel and resort here in dubai as a staycation absolutely enjoyed myself there and as a guest at their hotels they do give you a beach bag so this is my first bulgari purse bag i do want to buy an actual bulgari bag bulgari bulgari yeah so they do give all of their hotel guests this is in the room when you check in a beach bag it is so pretty with um real leather accents it's a real beach bag it's not no you know rink and dink tote it is lined with a liner <laughs> and it has a pocket inside it does have a little space right here for you to you know clip on any keys or wallets but yeah it's a very spacious bag i'm so glad that i have this in my collection now i mean like i was saying I mean, I didn't like go out and purchase it. Actually, I don't even think you can purchase this. I don't think this is available on the website, but I think this is just a complimentary gift or, you know, included in the price of what I paid for the room. It's a resort. And because this one, I don't know if all of the, no, the one in Paris is not, but the one here, and then there's a Bali and then there's an Italy, Milan, I think. But the one here is on a private beach so or it has its own private beach so that's why they went ahead and um give you a bag a beach bag as a complimentary gift and now i have not only another beach bag but a boogery in my collection now and that being said i did go to the hotel with my beach bag i mean i didn't know i was gonna get that beach bag but this is the beach bag I always travel with. This is my YSL Raphael tote, I want to say. And yeah, every time I go to the beach, every time I go to a resort, I am carrying this with me. When I travel on vacations, I am carrying this with me because what's the point of having a beach bag if you're not going to carry a beach bag? That makes absolutely no sense. I don't want to overdo my collection and just have too many unnecessary things i did purchase this off of ysl ysl no i didn't i purchased this off of farfetch i love this bag so much the only thing is because it's it's not really a foldable bag i kind of did mess it up in the bag like yeah when i always put it in my suitcase so i don't know if i could somehow I don't know. I try to keep it stuffed so it doesn't slouch and it doesn't create, you know, get worse. But it looked like that's just permanent, to be honest. Because I was using this a lot last year when I was traveling, like, from everywhere. Um, abroad, you know, it being in a suitcase for so long, it kind of just... I guess permanently stay like this so that's the only bad part about it all in all it just gives me that subtle subtle lux flex because it's just a regular bag and it just has the little YSL emblem and gold hardware and um 
brown leather on the inside it has a patch of brown leather as well for you to put anything you need in there and i absolutely love this bag i've had it since 2020 and it's still going strong so i really like it so all in all those are my tote bags that i use and abuse and love and honestly i'm not trying to buy any more totes because this is just enough the only way i will get a new tote if is if any of these fall apart then i would have to replace it under the other than that i am not in a search in desperateness and hungerness to purchase another tote and put it in my collection i really love what i have here all right guys so i hope you enjoy my tote collection if you like any of these pieces that i showed you guys let me know down below do not forget to follow like subscribe do all of that good stuff and don't forget to follow me on instagram at important underscore chocolate with that being said i will see you guys in the next video bye